In this video, we will build a shortcut that brings our current location information directly into the note we are actively composing without having to leave our notes application. When I'm not goofing around with Apple shortcuts, I'm quite the avid photographer, so when I'm out and about and I find an interesting location, I like to use the notes application to record the details. In this little demo, I called up notes from a home screen shortcut and after entering a few of the basics, put the location and local weather conditions in the note. I did this by using the humble share sheet icon. Not only can the little icon send our note out to our clipboard or printer and to other applications, it can also run shortcuts, which we can then use to bring information into our app. The share sheet feature in shortcuts apps makes this possible. This project uses a couple of little helper shortcuts that we can also use on other projects down the road. Let's call the first one EDC Location Grab. It collects details about our current location and then sends them along to the main shortcut. I call the second one EDC Add Weather. Similarly, it grabs the weather conditions and passes them along. So let's build them first and then with those at our disposal, building the main shortcut is really simple. Let's start by opening our Shortcuts app and let's go to our main folders page. I've already made a folder called EDC Utilities, so let's just use that. Since we're going to make two helpers, hit the plus sign for a new shortcut. And let's go ahead and name this. And then because it's a utility, I like to just make that a single character string, but that's up to you, of course. Now let's change the icon. And this is a personal preference as well. Since it's a utility, I just make it gray. And let's just go ahead and use that since it's a location. Then our first action, let's make a comment. And I have comments in my favorites. Here we go. Okay, now that that's all done, we can add our first real action. Let's go ahead and just search for it. And we'll want that to be get current location. There we are. And let's look at the attributes and set this to best. And on to our next action. We want to get the details of this location. Get details of location. There we are. And our first detail, how about if it's latitude? Let's go ahead and duplicate this by clicking on its little icon here. That's so handy. Then let's go ahead and get longitude and then one more time and let's go ahead and get altitude so far so good so lastly let's go ahead and get a URL of the map so that we'll have a link to a map in our note get maps URL right there and we see that all of these are connected so we're all Good. Now let's just go ahead and add a text variable. And let's just build this out with a label. We'll start off with a label. And let's find from our selector here our latitude, add a space, then longitude, then maybe another label. And similarly, our altitude, then another label, okay, and then our maps URL. Okay, now all that's left is to stop the shortcut and send this output to the main shortcut. And we see it's connected, so we should be good to go. Now let's build our second helper. And because it's a utility, let's do a little cleanup, make it one character string. And then let's change our icon to gray. Hey, look at there, a cloud. Why not? And our first action, as always, is a comment. Let's get our weather information. And then let's get the details. 
we are. Maybe our first detail would be wind speed. Of course, it can be anything you'd like it to be. We'll click and duplicate. Then I'm going to get direction. And these are things that are important to me. Of course, you can make it anything you want. And now let's build us a little text variable. We'll label this. Move this up a little bit. I'm just going to start this one with some separators. And I do that so that when this shortcut appends to our main shortcut, we have a little separator for the weather. Again, that's just a style thing. And let's say our first thing would be weather conditions. There it is. And the formatting is fine, so we don't have to change any of that. And maybe let's put a label here that says... And then we'll put wind direction. And then maybe our wind speed. Okay, all that's left is to send this along. Here we are, we're connected. So I think we're all done. Okay, we have our two helpers and they're in our utilities folder. So now on to the main shortcut. Let's go back to our folders page and I built one called EDC Share Sheet. So let's go ahead and put our main shortcut in that. We'll start a new shortcut. And here's the little magic trick. We'll go down here to the information icon and we'll select Show in Share Sheet. Now when we did that, it automatically puts this action that says to receive all of these different things from the share sheet. Because we'll only be working with text since it's our notes application, let's click on this and if I clear them, it turns them all off. And then let's just select rich text since that's what format our notes are made in. Okay, let's go ahead and add our comment. And this bug crashes uh, your shortcut if a note in your folder or in your search field has a tag or a link to another note. Hopefully, they'll have this fixed pretty soon. Before we get too far, let's go ahead and name this. I've got a bad habit of forgetting that. And for my share sheet shortcuts, <laughs> say that fast three times. I like to make them teal. And again, that's just my personal convention for keeping track of all of this. So now it's time to run our helper shortcuts. We can go to our favorites, and I put the run shortcut action in my favorites and click on that. And the first one we want to run is our EDC location grab. There it is. Then the dreaded find notes in the uh, search. So I'm going to clear this out. So we have find all notes and I want to sort by the last modified date with the newest first or the latest first and just limit it to one note. So this find notes will get us our current note. Okay, so let's append our shortcut result, this location grab, to our notes. And clear that out. Then let's similarly do the same thing with our weather. So we can come up here, click on that icon, say paste below, and this time we want to run at weather. Right there. Okay. And again, we don't have to worry about an input. Then let's just grab this and copy it and paste it below. And I always like to do this because since we have two different shortcuts, I want to make sure we're going to append this shortcut. So I'll click and hold here, say select variable, and then I'll click this shortcut result. Now we need to change our pen from notes 
to appended notes. And that's it. We're done. And there it is. So let's go ahead and open notes. And we'll make a new note. Okay, so let's click our little share icon up here. And we can scroll down and we should be able to find that. EDC, add location. But I'd like to have it up here with my favorites. So let's go to edit actions and find it. EDC, add location. We'll click on it. Now it's up in our favorites and we could actually even move it all the way to the top. So now let's just click add location. We'll get our security checks and it takes it a minute because it's going out and finding our location and there's our location and there's our weather. So we're in good shape. In our next video, we will build a shortcut that lets us send media directly to our notes straight from the Photos application. It lets us either choose a new note or append to one of our previous few notes. So if this content is helpful, please give it a thumbs up and check the description for how you can help support this channel. And for more videos like this, please subscribe. It's free and it really helps us grow our channel. Thank you, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.